Hello everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to show you how to make this neat pendant with polymer clay and flat wire. And let me start off by saying that I am not an expert at uh, jewelry making. This is something that I'm just starting to do. So if I can do this, if I can pull it off, anyone can do it. So let me just grab some wire. I have flat wire, 16 gauge. And I'm going to cut up a good chunk of it. And right away, I will start working on both ends of it. Basically, the wire goes, this is the outside wire, and it goes on the outside and it loops. So let me take, grab some uh, pliers, uh, rounded tip pliers, and start turning the, the end. And it's entirely up to you how many times you want to turn it. You just want to try to make sure that both ends somehow look similar. It definitely helps. Well, somehow, because mine never do, but there's always an attempt. So, let me twist it one more time. Okay, just like that. All right, that's good enough. Now, all my previous pendants, and I've made quite a few of those, I just um, use my hand to form the shape. But today, I want to try to use my cutter to see if maybe using the cutter is going to be helpful to get this smooth bend. So, let me see if I can do that. Because usually I would just go, well, just like this. I don't even know if I need a cutter. This is just, this is just so, so small. Oh, maybe you can just do it by hand. Uh, well, maybe I have seen people use different objects that they found around the house to get this nice round bend. But obviously you don't need it because I just did it by hand like in a split second. The 16 gauge is not uh, too hard. It's still, you can still bend it easily. So it's kind of fun to work with. Okay, I'm going to give this one just a, one more twist there. So now, let me see. I think this one is just a little bit smaller. I'm not sure if I'm going to have space for both of these little loops, but for sure I'm going to do make one of them. So let me grab another piece of wire and with this I'm going to create this middle loop. So again, try to make sure that you kind of, sort of uh, create a loop that looks like the, the other two that you already made. So if you turn around once or twice or three times, just Make sure that you're consistent with that. Am I consistent with it? Nah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, so that's fine. This is, that's fine. This is going to be my top loop. There. Actually, you know what, I'm going to twist it just one more time. That's actually where your ring is going to be attached. So you're going to attach your ring and then your um, uh, your chain. All right, and here we're going to go and move the other way. And this time around, I am not looking for a very small loop. I'm looking for a wider loop. So I'm happy with this. Okay, so here's, here's something that you need to think about when you're doing it. First of all, cut enough wire to make what you want to make. Second of all, you can see that I'm not fitting in here. So you just need to understand that you can go ahead and mold it the way you want it so that it does fit in there. So I'm going to 
I just stretched it out just a little bit and it fit in there just fine. You can stretch it even more so it's longer. It's, it's amazing. Once you start playing with it, you don't want to stop. <laughs> because you can do so much with it. <laughs> really. Okay, so... I am just going to leave it as is. Maybe I'm just going to make this look a tiny bit smaller inside. Just because I can. There. Okay, there. Now, like I said, this is not, this one is probably not big enough for two loops. So I'm just going to leave it with one loop. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I could squeeze another loop in there. At least I would show you how I did the other, the other one with the two loops. So I'm going to cut off another piece, a much smaller piece, because that is going to go right in there. So I just need a big turn. And I'll see if I grabbed actually enough wire. Maybe I didn't. See, this is this this is what I mean by I am not an expert at this. And everything that I do, okay, this is not gonna work for sure. Let me grab another wire. Um, this is all trial and error for me. It's kind of fun though. I am having really really a good time with it. All right, so let's turn it and see how that would work. Okay, well, that is definitely going to work. I'm just going to trim it on top just a little bit. Okay, there. All right. So we actually are going to be able to get two loops in. So that's cool. And this I'm going to trim just a tiny bit more again. I don't need it going up just as high. Oops. Alright, so that's how it's going to go. This is how this is going to go. And we're going to use polymer clay to cover it up. Okay, let me just bend it just a little bit so it's kind of bending with this perfect okay I am good with that I am good 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 actually you know what let me turn this inside just a little bit more let's see if I moved something around no, that's fine okay so now I rolled out polymer clay this one is pewter no it's not pewter it's uh, graphite pearl that's what it is and I am going to do the following and there are different ways of doing it but this is the way that works for me the best so I'm grabbing my three pieces I'm sorry the, the two pieces the large piece and also the the middle piece and I am going to Put on the polymer clay where I want it. I want it right there, maybe a little bit to the side there. And now I'm gonna just push it down. I'm going to push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Let it go through it. Actually, I'm gonna use clear block to do that. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm going to take my other piece and I'm going to decide where to put that. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to push that one in. Okay, now this distance from here to here where you see the uh, the transfer of the wires and the additional wires going in 
I am going to use a thinner wire 20 gauge to roll around it so that uh, you will not be able to see the transition. So let me pull the clay off. And let me see how we are looking here. I lost some clay there. All right, so let me just remove a little bit of the clay that got into places that I did not want it to go. There. I'm going to finish it off in just a second. I just want to start the start putting the wire. Okay, so this is our pendant pretty much. Now I'm grabbing the 20 gauge wire and you see how I went around and I kind of made it uh, covered up the the transition. I am sure that someone's watching the video and they say that is not how you do it and probably. But it seems that it works for me. <laughs> so I'm going to start that I'm going to start wrapping and you want to make sure that you are wrapping it nice and tight. Every round you want to going to go and squeeze it. Make sure that it's nice and tight together. Because that's when it looks really, really nice when it's tied. And we are going to go as far as this transition. So if your transition, you see that, that piece of metal? If it's higher up, you don't have to put that much wire. Uh, mine is pretty low. So I am going to go just to cover it. Because I don't want people to know what I did, <laughs> how I did it. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to cut it off. And that is it. That is our pendant. I am going to give it a nice, I'm going to give the ends a nice squeeze. They're going to bake into the polymer clay a little bit. Now, I'm, I, now I can just go and clean it up, take off the extra polymer clay that is hanging out here, make sure everything is nice and tight, and everything looks the way you want it to look. When it comes out of the oven, which we are almost ready to put in the oven, um, we'll be able to uh, sand down the back and varnish the front so you can have the the shine that you like if you like satin which actually I like just the regular varnish on that one I don't need anything glossy but you may want something glossy but you're just gonna go and you're gonna cut off whatever you don't need here and some of my pendants I have the metal come through on the side and some of them I just I just go and I cover it up like this one here I'm going to cover it up I think I want it covered up so I'm just going to smooth it out I'm going to work on that and when it comes out of the oven I'm going to sand it down some more and it's going to look beautiful but this is basically just of it that's how I that, that's how you make this pendant Hopefully it wasn't too difficult. Hopefully you guys had a, enjoyed it and had a good time watching it. And you're going to give it a try. And keep on making jewelry. Keep on crafting. Till next time, till, till next time my friend. Ta-ta.